boys and girls, it is day two of our day Forest two. Holidays Christmas expedition. Day one. We've done day one. We have done day one. Day two. It is day two. And he's just day having day his breakfast. Three, day four. And then day five. Yeah. Which why did the camera fall down? Andy's just having his breakfast, which as usual is six pieces of toast Queen's and some crisps. Gate. We're not going to Queensgate. We really want to go to the shopping centre in Peterborough, to which we've told him we can't go to until after Christmas. Yes, to look at the clock. Um, so we are now trying to prepare some breakfast on our own based on the stuff that they put in our welcome pack thing. So we have, I mean, it's definitely breakfast material. We have a nice loaf of fresh bread. We have some Lincolnshire sausages. We have some bacon, and we have some chicken poops. But we don't have any oil. So, normally, I would do the sausages in the oven, the bacon under the grill, and then fry the eggs in oil. But, two things. One, we only have one like combined oven grill situation. So we'd have to do the sausage and the bacon all together if we did that. But we'd still have no oil. So my theory is, using this enormous really heavy cast iron pan which is the biggest heaviest frying pan i've ever seen i'm gonna fry everything i'm gonna fry the bacon fry the sausages in the hope that they give us enough greasy oily goodness to then fry the eggs in the remnants from that there's a morning squirrel there's a squirrel just coming down the tree there failing that we can always fry the eggs in butter but i've never done that before i don't know how good butter is to fry eggs in so that's the plan. Bacon, eggs, sausage, and bread. The breakfast of kings. Short stay self ended, he's just left, apparently. I don't think I've ever fried sausages before. Two things, one, the bits that are touching the pan are burning really quickly. Two, they're not really giving out any fat, which was the whole purpose of doing it. So in a minute, I'm going to transfer them to this tray and put them in the oven, which the oven's warm, and try to bake them, try and get some fat out of the bacon. If there's no fat in bacon, I'm never believing a doctor again. Um, as far as plans for today go, we have got plans for the week. We've got some activities booked, but nothing for today. Today is very much going to be a acclimatising and relaxing day. But tomorrow, me and Shortstay are going air rifle shooting, and we've got an afternoon tea that's snowman and the snow dog theme. There's somebody over there. And Santa's coming with reindeers and a big barbecue over at the retreat thing. And then on Thursday, I'm taking that one there, axe and knife throwing. So we have got some activities booked, but today we're just gonna have our nice easy breakfast. And then we need to go out and about in the local area and try and find a supermarket. Because once we've eaten this breakfast food, the only food we've got left from the welcome pack is two croissants, half a pack of butter, and a cake. So we probably need some, like, food for eating for the rest of the week. Bacon is coming along very nicely. Sausages are now staying warm in there. We also found a tin of baked beans as well. So we've got some baked beans on the go. This is turning into the breakfast of champions. Well, if you've ever wondered how much grease is in six sausages and five rashers of bacon, it's exactly that amount which should be plenty to fry those eggs. We should probably stop boiling the baked beans as well. Never cooked in this kitchen before. It's gonna, it's gonna be interesting. If this resembles a meal, then that's a result. We will officially refer to this as not a bad result in the circumstances. Breakfast time. So breakfast is officially consumed and many hours later, we're on holiday after all, we had a very slow morning. We have uh, really embraced our new woodland lifestyle we've left the female back at base camp to do nesting things or whatever it is uh, female folk do back at base camp while the men are out to uh hunt for some dinner we'll see what we can find and this looks like very fertile ground for hunting i believe we'll have some success i've learned a lesson about the north this morning uh, apparently you still have to put a pound in the trolley around here I don't carry pounds for the trolley. So we've just made our first trip into Tesco, as much as we can carry. We're loading up the car, we're going back for trip two. Hunting and gathering complete. If all goes to plan, this is the last we'll see of civilization until Friday. Guarantee Anna's sending me to the shops again tomorrow. It's almost certain. Big job for this afternoon. Yes, he wheezes like a girl. 
patrolling the perimeter with my assistant guard dog Dave. We're gonna go find something fun to do while everyone else is relaxing. Because unlike everybody else, my idea of relaxing is not sitting in front of the TV watching EastEnders Christmas specials from 1999 on gold. I, uh, I don't do a lot of nothing, so we're gonna go and do something. I just don't know what that something is yet. This looks like a track, Dave. Let's walk down this. Oh, we found a nice little clearing, haven't we, Dave? Where you were running around. Not entirely sure if my lad's taking off his lead here. This is exactly the kind of place he'd love to just run around. But it's also exactly the kind of place he'd love to disappear into those bushes or chase this little golf cart thing that's going past now. So it's probably for the best that he keeps him on his lead. We have bought some tennis balls of this, but I don't know. This doesn't look quite big enough to risk it. No tennis balls today, Dave. I know. Boys and girls, I have jumped into the hot tub earlier today than yesterday, partly so that we can still have some daylight while I'm in here, so we don't have to have yesterday's horrible grainy footage, but partly because Andy hates the jets being on and all the bubbles, which kind of defeats the purpose of it. So um, I haven't told him that I'm coming in. I've just snuck in here. I'm having a go. And then I'll come back in later with him and with everybody else if need be. But you know what? I wanted the bubbles on, so I'm having the bubbles on. So my view from here, you can see Anna is in there watching Call the Midwife on TV. Dave, I think, is in the little decking area just there. Andy is in his bedroom, off the back, which I think is where Short Stay is as well. So I think Short Stay is getting his trunks. We're gonna have man time. It's probably about half past three, I think. It's really cold outside. It's like zero degrees today. Cold, cold, cold. It's the shortest day of the year as well. So the sun will be pretty close to gone by not long after four o'clock. So I'm hoping to sit here while the sun sets and then jump out and do us some dinner. Hot dogs for tea couldn't find any disposable barbecues to actually get a fire going, which is very sad. We're not allowed to do a proper fire. We've not got a fire pit. We've just got this little shelf thing over here. There. Which you can put a disposable barbecue in, but we couldn't find any anywhere. So hot dogs cooked indoors, I guess, but they're still going to be delicious and outdoorsy. Hello. We come to have some hot tub time. Go to Queensgate. We're not going to Queensgate today. Lake Park. No. Lake Park. We're going after Christmas, maybe. He really wants to go to the shopping centre in Peterborough to look at the clock they've got there. Yeah. Are you coming in to join us? Mummy yeah. will put chunks on. Yeah, Anna's coming. injured herself using the hot tub yesterday. Uh, Her whole right side, right side of your body? Yeah. He's all achy and locked up. I think she's over relaxed it and then trapped a nerve. I'm trying to convince her she needs to get back in and then do some stretching. Are you cold? Oh no, not cold. It's warm in here. You don't have to stand out here with us, you know, if you're cold. No, you're... no why would you have to stand out and supervise? Well, I think between me and Shorts Day, we can keep an eye on Andy. If you notice that all three of us are drowning, come and save us. Me first, please. Day four, take two. Yeah, this is day two. And day three, show for Yeah, day three tomorrow. Tomorrow um, we have got, we're having afternoon tea. Yeah. A snowman and snow dog afternoon tea. Of the channel four. Yeah, and we get to see a reindeer tomorrow. In channel four. Yeah, we're going to go and see a reindeer. On Channel 4. Well, it won't be on Channel 4, it'll be over there at, near the shop. We're going to go and see a reindeer. In Channel 4. Yeah. Are you having a nice holiday? Yeah. Good. I know the light's terrible here, and it's probably quite noisy as well, but I just want to show you what we're having for dinner. It seems to be a bit of a theme of this little mini-series. Um, I've showered after the hot tub, so my hair's a mess again. Hot dogs out of a tin. Loads of fried onions, caramelised. I'm doing some potato wedges as well in the oven. Nice, simple, easy, delicious food. 
It's nearly six o'clock, so night garden's about to start. Yeah, that's right, boys and girls. We're double sausaging, mainly because I bought six buns and 18 or 16. So like too many sausages. We've got loads left over still. Yummy dinner. It is now, it's only 7 p.m. It is completely pitch black and has been for like two or three hours. It has turned cold out here as well. It's zero. So somebody's decided now is the time that she can have the hot tub entirely to herself because um, no one can see her, which is the theory, isn't it? No one can see you when it's completely dark. I wish it was a little bit hotter. Hotter? Yeah. When we were in there earlier, we were melting, but it is um, it's zero I degrees. Also, I like it boiling. Yeah, it's zero degrees Celsius out here tonight. So it is cold unless you're in there. Um, but the hope, hopefully, once we get her out, it'll loosen off whatever's tightened up after being in there yesterday. We can stretch her off and then she'll be fighting fit for the rest of the week because she's got to throw axes at some point. You need to be fit for axe throwing. Or else that'd be a disaster. If I'm the only one who learns how to throw an axe, <laughs> what use is that when the zombies come? I need to be a Viking. Exactly. We're doing axe throwing and knife throwing. And we're meeting a reindeer tomorrow. It's very exciting. But Anna's in the hot tub and we've figured out how to get the jets and the lights on now. It's excellent. She made me get back in, but my trunks are still wet. So I'm in, in my pants. <laughs> Couldn't put wet trunks back on. Was it making you vomit? It was. Yeah, my, my, my costume was a little bit wet and like, I was like, a bit, no. <laughs> and that's the view of those two. Watching Disney Illuminations. I'm surprised he's come back out, though. Yeah, I knew he'd come and watch it because he hasn't seen it. It's been on Disney Plus for a couple of weeks, hasn't it? Yeah, and he hadn't seen it. it. And he wouldn't come downstairs to watch it at home. But because his bedroom here is just the other side of the telly, I knew if I put it on, it. he'd well. rush out and watch it. We're trying to guess which parts of the Disney Illuminations are getting him so animated and excited. <laughs> we think it's every time there's like major fireworks yeah. stuff. Can you see what's on screen yeah. from there? What's, what's All happening? of the fireworks wow. at the end. Someone really <laughs> likes the fireworks. Yeah. Oh, now he's giving it a round of applause. Oh. Brilliant. Bless him. <laughs> oh, now he's going back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> he's started watching, now he's leaving short, stay in there. With Disney Plus on the screen, it can only be controlled via my phone. For a short stay, it's He's been left in the lurch. <laughs> and it's just occurred to me as I'm editing this, firstly that this lens is filthy and it's dealing with before tomorrow. And also that I hadn't said goodbye. Anna and short stay are in there watching some kind of Christmas program on TV. Hello. There you go, Anna yelled hello. Um, and I'm just finishing off editing this video together. Ready for an early night, because me and short stay are up early in the morning for shooting. And we'll see you there.